Expo and log integrals with trig. For the first problem, we have the integral of secant 4x times tangent of 4x multiplied by e to secant 4x. So first thing we're going to do is find e. And so I want to get this to in terms of u and just have e to the u to integrate. So I know if I take the derivative of secant of 4x, I'm going to get secant tangent. And so my u is going to be secant of 4x. Now we're going to find du, which is equal to the derivative of this. So if you multiply the insert, or take the derivative of the inside times the outside, so it should be 4 secant of 4x. And then um, it's going to be tangent of 4x. And then we're going to have dx, because you, when you take the derivative of the inside, the x turns into dx. But we don't have a 4 out in front here, so we're going to have, we're going to divide by 4, and so we're going to basically just move it to the other side. And so 1 over 4 du is equal to secant of 4x times tangent of 4x dx. Now we can rewrite the integral in terms of u. We'll move the 1 over 4 out front, being multiplied by everything. So now then we're going to have just e to the u du. Now we're going to integrate in terms of u, so big F of u is equal to 1 over 4 e to the u, because the integral of just e to the u is just e to the u, and then plus c, because it's indefinite integral. Now we're going to write it in terms of x, so big F of x is equal to 1 over 4 e to secant of 4x plus c. And that is the solution to our indefinite integral. Now for our second problem, we have the integral of dx over sine of 3x times cosine of 3x. First things that we're going to do is find u. And that is going to be equal to sine of 3x. The reason being is because I'm trying to figure out how to get the entire bottom in terms of u, so I can use a property to take the integral. So I know if I take the derivative of sine, I'm going to get cosine. And then we can deal with the 3 later. So now we're going to find du. And that is equal to the derivative of the inside, so it would be 3 times sine. So if you take the derivative of the sine, it's cosine of the inside. So you just plug in 3x again. And then we're going to have a dx, because when you take the integral of x, you get dx. So now we have a 3 out front here and not out there. So now what we're going to do is just divide by 3 and move it to the other side. So 1 over 3 du is equal to cosine of 3x dx. Now we're going to rewrite the integral in terms of u. So we're going to multiply everything by 1 third, which is there. Now we're going to have, now we know that if we move dx out in front, that's the same thing and 1 can be replaced by it. So we're going to get 1 over u, which is there. And then now we're going to put du. Now we're going to integrate in terms of u. So I'm going to have big F of u is equal to 1 over 3. And the property for this would make this turn into ln, the absolute value of u, plus c. And it's the absolute value because you cannot take or plug in a negative number to ln. So now we're going to rewrite it in terms of x. So big F of x is equal to 1 over 3 ln, and then u, we're going to plug in u, so it's going to be sine of 3x, and then plus c. And that is the solution to our indefinite integral.